Hey there, I'm Galen back with some more trays of cold steel. Had an extra couple seconds there, uh, I had to go use the restroom because you know. And then of course I forget to mute my stream because I'm an idiot. There we go. I did my level and stuff, I got a couple levels out of it. Yeah. Finished off everybody's little thingy things. Now I have a text message. Um mute my thingies come on now i'm really getting tired of this phone i hit the uh volume button and then it takes like 10 yeah. seconds for it to be like oh yeah hey you just hit this button let's, let's adjust it but yeah yeah that's absolutely true all right Bro, I went and killed so many monsters and came back and you still weren't done taking pictures. Oh crap, I need to... That's what I forgot to do. I forgot to get my chatty thing up. My bad, folks. We'll put that right there. And boop, there we go. Where I can see things. Uh, I believe so. From the girl at the tavern thingy at the outpost thingy. Yeah. the stupid army again. Mm -hmm. It's the truck. What the hell? Somebody broke into the truck. Let me double check. Make sure there's that. There we go. Drinking and driving again, huh, sir? Yeah, I got it. Somebody cut the line. She has runs like her family.
Now, how are you doing this morning, fellow? Damn. I wasn't yawning until she started yawning earlier. Now I'm yawning. I need to spill some, you know, hot water in my lap. I'll, I'll, I'll wake her up. Right? I'll be perfectly aware. their butt. I'm talking to you, kitty kitty. He's like, you talking to me? Who am I, who's butt am I supposed to kick? Oh, buddies. She's really wanting to play. She come over and nibble me. Plus, oh my. Mm. Eh, multi purpose. Lake Northwest of the Statue Garden. Gotcha. Okay, no, I'm already at the right side. Okay. Um, flap it until it stops that and give you what yeah. you want. There's a cliff there. Sorry, Horse. Just trying to break your ankles. That's all good. You forgot to give the offer in orange Jesus. Well, I guess that's convenient. Double it up. Felt bad for you? Looking to see if I can get used to this level. He's really far off. Because he has like next to no EP. Same for Caius. Caius, Caius, Caius. I said Caius at first. That's pretty.
Guessing it's one of her relatives. Yeah. How beautiful. Yeah, breathtaking. Yeah. Just steal the truck. Knock. Far as I know, I did everything. Is was there anything that's active after having Taking this mission that I needed to go slap somebody about? I wouldn't think so. I think we're good. A grandpa. <laughs> That's his name. Good, <laughs> good. bigger
Let's wake up to this kind of view in the morning, man. Sit out here on the porch, just stare out there nighttime. Hearing the birds and the bugs. Man, that'd be freaking fantastic. <laughs> Lively old feller. <laughs> well, you're not supposed to allow him to kick you back. <laughs>
Find out who you are. Okay, let's get this mission started. Sheesh. Gramps and the others can be so unreasonable sometimes. Is this Tiny Tina before she was Tiny Tina? Maybe Tiny Tina's ancestor. Yeah. The voice is very similar. in a more normal way. Can we have a spread of all that food stuff too? Eat flatbread, rice mounds, meat, soup, fruit. Mm. What's a flatbread, man? That sounds good. Used to wrap up some nice juicy meat and some crisp vegetables and nom nom. Yeah. Basically, a flat flatbread taco. It's actually the right proper way to have some fantastic taco type things. Be voiced. Come on. <sighs> Thank you. This is one of the spots I'm that needs to be voiced. Idiot. What am I even doing? You're standing outside after eating, getting fresh air because you're actually working over brain issues. That's what you're doing. Oh, Green. Well, what are you doing out here? 
Did you eat too much? My mouth says no, but my stomach's thinking yes. You doing okay? You seem a bit unsteady there. <laughs> Nothing like that. I'm just feeling a little out of it. I'm just going to stay out here for a while and get some fresh air. Then I'll be f Whoa! <laughs> Sorry about that. See? What did I tell you? We've been riding all day. I'm not surprised you're feeling tired. <laughs> so it's saw your computer crashed. <laughs> well, you know, you need to add a little sugar. <laughs> Dust off the salt. Really takes it out of you. I guess you're right. Why didn't that occur to me before? Hey, Elisa, look up at the sky. Huh? There's twinkly, sparky things. Don't worry, they won't flicker on and off. You know, I didn't even notice it last night because we turned in so early. But now that we know, if you're out here to get some air, better to take in the starlight than look at the ground. He thinks Wade showed up. What you think? You're right. Sour and bitter aftertaste. Ooh, delicious. Should be a brandy, I'm guessing. It's so sour and bitter aftertaste. My father was a technician. Eight years ago, he passed away. My family was never really the same after that. Mother was director of the company back then. She focused all of her energy on making the Reinford group even bigger. She used to treasure our family, but after that, it's like she could barely spare a thought for us. Oh. She did seem like a talented businesswoman when we met her. Well, more than talented to run the Reinford Group. What you saw in Ruger Station was just a watered-down version of her normal intensity. We'd be able to have dinner together maybe once every three months, and that's being generous. But at least I wasn't alone. Grandfather and Sharon were always there for me. That's how it was, huh? I guess you've known Sharon for a long time then. Yeah. My mother hired her about seven years ago. Being a Reinford and all, I never had many people I could really call friends when I was young. The nobles looked down on me, of course, but the common people treated me like I was different from them, too. At least with my grandfather and Sharon around, I never felt totally alone. Grandfather introduced me to all kinds of different hobbies, like horseback riding and playing the violin. Sharon taught me self-defense and archery, and all the high society etiquette expected of a lady. Meanwhile, my mother kept expanding the company completely against the wishes of my grandfather, the chairman. I see. How's it going, Wade? Though, hasn't Reinford always been a big industrial company? Kind of, yeah. Even back then, they took on projects in all fields, from steel mills to railway construction to guns and tanks. It's not surprising there are people out there who like to call the company a merchant of death. I can't say I completely agree with that side of the company, but I've never felt embarrassed or ashamed about it. But a few years ago, the Reinford Group finally went too far. What do you mean? Those two railway guns set up in Gorelia Fortress on the eastern edge of the Empire? You know about those, right? Hmm. Yeah, I've heard of them. They're supposed to have the longest range of any orbital cannon in the world. I was say, that's the stuff we were dealing with at the very beginning of the game, was it not? I've only seen their spec sheets, but the destruction they're capable of is terrifying. Erebonia is still fighting with Calvert over Crossbell, and those guns are capable of targeting any point in Crossbell's state. In just a couple hours, they could wipe Crossbell City and its 500,000 citizens off the map. No way. That's way beyond being a weapon of war. More like an instrument of massacre. I couldn't agree more. And neither could my grandfather, who supervised their construction. Even though my mother was the one who signed off on the project, my grandfather regretted it like the decision was his. 
As he was hesitating over whether to hand them over to the Imperial Army, my mother betrayed him. What? She went behind his back and secured the support of all of Reinford's major shareholders. Everyone from Ruhr's ruling lord Marquis Rotner to the top brass of the Imperial Army was on her side. In the face of such overwhelming pressure from all sides, my grandfather was forced to capitulate. He stepped down as chairman and my mother wasted no time taking his place. That's when my grandfather decided to leave the company entirely. And me. I thought I'd at least have Sharon on my side, but she just did whatever my mother told her to do. It's been five years Would you since eat then for already. Me? Oh. Hey, these guys just finished eating too much on the game, too. So. I think I get it now. Why she gets under your skin, I mean. It's not so much what your mother did, but how it ended up tearing your family apart. Yeah. I couldn't believe my mother would betray her own father. I couldn't believe grandfather would take it without fighting back. I couldn't believe Sharon, who'd always supported me, watched it all happen without a word of protest. It really drove it home to me. How big the Reinford group was now. Sounds good. And how I hated realizing Oops, it had become so that. large that corporate interests were stronger than family ties. Looking back, I guess that's when I decided I'd leave home and enroll in the academy. Even when I ran, I couldn't go far enough to escape my mother's shadow, or the Reinford name. Then I come here and find my grandfather happily enjoying a whole new life without a care in the world. When I stepped outside, I was feeling so lost, so frustrated, wondering what I'd been doing all this time. But it's kind of strange, you know? I look up at the stars, and it feels like I can escape the gravity of everything. I think I'm finally starting to understand. Why my grandfather chose to leave it all behind and move out here in the first place. <laughs> you really are strong, Elisa. Stronger than you realize. You were finally ready to talk about it. About your family and the company and everything. So... Maybe you found what you were looking for to move past that, right? <laughs> Maybe you're right. But I don't think I would have been able to if I hadn't enrolled at the Academy. Meeting everyone in Class 7, the Lacrosse Club, you... I'm a better person for it. Your support has already made a difference. So, thanks. Thanks for worrying about me. And thanks for reminding me to look up, not down. Well, there you go. That's cool. <laughs> Anytime. Though, truth be told, I came to check on you because Emma asked me to. Sorry to ruin the moment. <laughs> I thought that might be the case. Oh well. There's always next time. It's kind of strange to hear you tell me I'm strong. Because I could say the same thing about you. You always seem to get thrust into the role of leader. Someone we can count on to keep us on track. Ooh. There you go. Nice, ch nice challenge. <laughs> I guess running errands on all my free days is really helping me buckle down. Still... I feel like I've got a long way to go. Especially when I keep running for myself. Huh? Remember back in Keldic? I said that I came to the Academy to find myself. But sometimes, I wonder if maybe I just wanted to get away. From my family, 
for myself. Oh. Do you not get along well with your family? Oh, I do. I'm not their real son, but my parents always loved me like I was. My sister and I, we've had our differences, especially lately, but we still get along pretty well. No, the problem's just with me. Rain. <laughs> still, I suppose the fact you were finally ready to talk about it means that maybe you found what you were looking for to move past that, right? <laughs> Who'd have thought I'd have the chance to feed you your own good advice so soon? I had to press the oh man. I can't believe you can just say things like that with a straight face. Maybe being on the receiving end every now and then will do you some good. <laughs> All right, you got me. I admit defeat. But yeah, I guess I'm starting to figure things out in my own way. Maybe enrolling in Thoris was the first thing I'd done right in a long time. I ended up in class seven. And now, all of us are out here like this, spending time together. Yeah, I like that. I hope the things we learn during our field studies can help us all make a difference in the world. So... Wait, all of us? <coughs> <laughs> you two were gone so long that we started to get a little worried. <laughs> no way! How long have you been listening? Still, I suppose the fact that you were finally ready to talk about it means that maybe you found what you were looking for to move past that, right? So stop! <laughs> Green! He was the one who said it first! I was just re repeating it back to him! Get over it. Oh, Lisa, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Honestly, you touched my heart. I apologize for eavesdropping on you, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad I did. How did I end up in the middle of this anyway? Fine, if that's how you want to play it. None of you are getting any sleep until you've shared all your most embarrassing secrets. <laughs> well, I, I don't... <laughs> you wish. Seems like you did well. Honestly, I feel like she helped me more than I helped her. Hey, guys? Hmm? This is a really beautiful place. Damn straight. I'd live there. Yeah, ain't it? About time. Ooh, you're moving up in the world. I guess you're right. <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you. Medal of Vicar. Keep up the good work. Sure. Just in case.
<laughs> of course, because they weren't looking. And so it begins. Seven days a week, 8 a.m. to noon, every single day, and then some evenings, depending on what's going on. Nice, it's a nice good blank save. Yeah, one dude saw the other du leader dude's penis was a little bit bigger and got really pissed off. So, you know, war. His dick's bigger than mine. Bomb him! No. I've, since I've started streaming serious, uh... Hell... Two, three months before you're being affiliate? Yeah, no, I, I was going to say mid-January? Mid to late January, I've been seven days a week. I started in the evenings first, and then I flopped to mornings for so. I'd like to do morning and evenings consecutively, but I need to have my viewer count daily on, at, at around 100 to do that comfortably. <laughs> Your missiles are hungry. <laughs> yeah, with well, my bum's thicker. Nord Monster. It's probably an unexploded bomb that can just get deflected, right? Mm -hmm. Go beat off on the path again. I, um, not with the girls around? I don't want them to laugh at me. I mean, I'm proud of my two and a half inches, but still. There was a big pot of boom outside. Tomorrow I'll be back with uh, Mass Effect. Mm, looking forward to doing some more there. No, 2.5 long. If it was 2.5 diameter, at least I'd have something. <laughs> it's 2.5 centimeters in diameter. I mean... It's a grown-up baby penis. Hello. <laughs> I 
Airships! Quick, snipe them! Snipe them! Um, those little rat a tat of guns on the front ain't gonna do shit to them other ones, man. I'm gonna be straightforward. So the things are far too more armored. And not to mention, they're rocking cannons. Hey! At least now they're just patrolling. Keeping an eye on one another. Well, I'm pretty sure what it is is they have a little thing saying they're patrolling borders and it's don't fire unless fired upon. Pretty sure the ground to air weaponry is there, just you know. I'm pretty sure it would also be mildly concealed to start. So that way you don't give away its position so it can't get hit. Well, tactically speaking, that's the smart way to do it. You don't reveal all your defenses in offense until you need to, lest you be subject to sabotage or preemptive strikes. I tweaked it. Well, I made it where it does a little pop, and then I shrank it just a hair, and then I crammed it over the corner. It depends on uh, what game I'm playing. It actually works really good right there in the top left with this game. Um, and he's fight the side thingy, right? No, I didn't. I didn't mess with anything there. Okay, so is there anything I need to be aware of that's missable at this point in time? I mean, I, I need to go bit slap that monster. No, I need to do that. Can I do take care of the monster before riding back to the other thing? Yeah, I didn't do anything. I just made sure I looked through the settings. There. I ticked a couple things, but I don't recall what I did. Maybe it has something to do with font you have already set up? I don't know. It's in like, you, it might go off the front, you have one base. Basic. Don't ride too roughly. Alright, let's take him up the hills and down the hills and all the dirt paths with all the potholes. No monster? 
or do I have to do a story event before I can monster? Yeah. This side's squish. No need to poke at these little guys. One of the Imperial Army's airships. The situation is looking pew, pew. worse by the minute. Pew, pew, pew. We need to hurry. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, don't want to take a civilian, you know, combat with the thing. Of course, you could take some mighty fine photos. To be honest. Those are armored cars from the Imperial Army. Damn, this isn't looking good. Ah, they're just going to have her ride. Which of those things are only really good on flat ground? I mean, the way that the front bits are designed, it's so low, and then that one's got a little thing sticking out. But you get caught on shit all the time. I mean, you'd have to have some mighty hardcore. Cat's doing her adorable thing. She sits there, stares at you, mouths at you, gets your attention, then go flops on the ground and belly up and just lays there, staring at you. Or half asleep. Oh, right, yeah. It's not game physics, it's their world magic. Yeah. I'm wondering if there's not a, a third party in play, and they're the ones that started the war, because there was some really sus people here and there, and they're wanting to trigger the war, I'm thinking. But the question is, why would they want to trigger the war? So we have yet to get to that meat. Other than, of course, because they can. Sounds reasonable to me. <laughs> Damn straight. Is it at least the, the, the soda might be um, 
either stress inducing or stress reducing, <laughs> depending on the person. Yeah, now can we go smash the monster already? Thank you. Really, I appreciate it more than you know. It's no big deal, honestly. I agree with Elisa. We're classmates after all. And more than that, we're friends. Well, this is clearly of great importance to you. I know you want to protect your people. But that's not the only reason you're doing this, is it? You got me. It ties back into why I accepted the Lieutenant General's recommendation and entered the Academy, too. I'm sure each of you feels the same about your own homes, but I love this land with all my heart. The wind racing across the highlands, the vast mountain peaks, the clear blue of the sky, the breathtaking beauty of the rising sun, the melancholy of the sunset, the twinkling of the stars in the twilight. I love everything about this land of Nord. It's part of who I am. Wow. I guess it hadn't sunk in how much Nord means to you. I'm certainly attached to Ruer, but... I can't think of anyone else who would state their love for their homeland so poetically. If you love it so much, why did you leave it behind? If you truly love Nord... If Nord, Nord is such a part of us... <laughs> what is it that drove you to enroll in a military academy in a foreign land so far away? <laughs> I'm not surprised you'd find it strange. To be honest, I'm still not totally sure what compelled me to do it. Back when I was a kid, the Republican Army built a base in the Eastern Plains. And the Imperial Army responded in kind with their watchtower. It's made me more uneasy with every passing year. Years ago, a traveling priest from the Septian Church taught me all about the history of the continent. One thing that stood out to me was just how many lives had been lost during the conflicts between the major powers. Another major thing was just how profound of an impact the Orbal Revolution had on people's lives. Even the concepts of time and distance have changed so much. In effect, the Orbal Revolution shrunk the world. Uh, like the discovery of, um, you know, the atomic bomb. When does Friday become, come before Thursday? It made me realize a sad truth. One that kind of scares me even now. Uh. That there was no guarantee my homeland could stay at peace forever. I I'm worried about the answer here, That but... one day, what? <laughs> it might be drawn into outsiders' conflicts. And be occupied and redistricted into oblivion. Oh, shit. I can't believe My brain immediately went to a dirty side. <laughs> Even as a kid. So then, you joined the Academy in order to learn more about the outside world that posed a threat to your homeland? Yeah, something along those lines. When I realized how afraid I was, I knew I couldn't close my eyes. I wanted to do something, anything, to protect this land. As luck would have it, I met the Lieutenant General. The fucking mansion there. He's the one who told me about Thor's military academy. They throw parties all the time. Invite people over too. One thing led to another. He offered me a recommendation. And before I knew it, I took him up on his offer. So there I was. 
green as grass, heading off to study abroad despite having no clue what life in the Empire was like. Thinking back on how it all came together, what you said is probably what I was thinking back then. Honestly, I have yet to hear a student offer a more galvanizing reason than yours for enrolling at the Academy. Dangle your nuts? <laughs> I have to agree. I don't know too many people who love their home so much that they leave it behind to find a way to protect it. <laughs> it's not a sentiment I can imagine many Erebonians feeling, that's for sure. But I think I finally that funny, understand. Like a, I, I, I use that, I used that at my previous job a lot, they're like, man, you're crazy, you're nuts. It's like, well, that's why the squirrels like me. Elisa? Just an idle thought. But having heard Gaius pour his heart out to us, there's no way we can just walk away from this. <laughs> Not after the people of Nord gave us such a warm welcome and treated us like family. Indeed, I couldn't have asked for more. Agreed. We'll get to the bottom of what's going on here and stop Ward from breaking out. Nord may not be our home, but it's still an important neighbor. I'll do what I can to aid you. Thanks, all of you. Really, thank you. Is this a flesh wound? still operate I say actually the damage is very superficial some uh, structure support reinforcements on the outside and a little bit of paint it'd look fine be fine and specifically in those spots they'd be kind of double armored I've seen worse damage. So this place was built really well. None of those bombs sucked. They didn't have very strong swimmers. Eat those fish. Why'd they throw the fish? What's up, y'all? Yeah, blah, 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 blah. I don't care. Uh. Yeah, blah, 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 Lose her patience. Well, that's not wrong in both directions there. <laughs> yeah, their area looks like it's pretty trash too, so both sides were hit by a rogue faction. Well, it is easy to get overzealous with the explosives 
as uh, me and Wade know from In Dying Light. <clears throat> We've never been overzealous with the explosives. Never. Keeping zombies flying lessons and the like. Excuse me, sir. That, that's that's a lovely giant guitar pick you got there. <laughs> we need to call him about that. <laughs> Oh, Roan is the pick. Oh, right. Well, yeah. Hmm. Da -da -da. <laughs> That's a good one. It was Gremlins. <laughs> it's not a piece of scrap, dude. It's an unexploded shell. <laughs> Here, fill this out. Yep, that's accurate. Yeah, that ain't awful. Twin Towers took worse damage than that from the impact. Damn plane, man. Soft, you know, subject for some people, but that's just the truth. These devices were made for war. A plane was not. <laughs> Super fish <laughs> Yes, I love that. 
they're being attacked by the, the creatures from the Darius games. Yes, there we go. They were firing the babies. At that one time, that band camp. You know, I wasn't paying attention to half that shit. I want to say it was round two. Wasn't it? Like two's when the shift change was? Nope, see? Well, oh, oh well. <laughs> oh well. So I gotta put threes for everything else. Got it. Gee, hmm, how to guess. Yeah, no, that's easy enough practice. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's our stream sneeze. I think I have one most every stream. I'd say 60-70% of the time anyway.
<laughs> yeah, as I say, force of the can, weight of the shell, the wind going on possibly around that time, you know, night as well as the season. And of course, then you have where it struck the tower. Can I stab the monster thingy now? Let me guess the circle. the monster um that's a story of Vince where's the damn monster hold on the northern Southwest near a cliff edge. There? Or over there? It's a ladder. Fish <laughs> ladder. <laughs> Death by tuna, sardine, and anchovy. We're keeping the carp for ourselves. We use those to beat people with. And of course, we use herrings to chop down trees. I probably just created a whole new genre of RPG. I don't know. Somebody's gonna make a Minecraft mod where fish are everything, fish are all the tool type things you need. Yeah, right? I mean, I'd be a little squish if a tuna slammed into me. I'd probably smear out like an explosive. <laughs> it's all right. got this. Come on. Yeah, huh? Hopefully we figure out what's going on with her here soon, baby. Variations on black hole. Yep. If you know somebody who has um, 
the what you call it, the whole house device with Siri. You need to set up a time secretly. Give it a command, like at 10:15 p.m. Siri, explain all the different types of farts, and uh, she'll do it, and it will. People will freak out. <laughs> They're mobile ground bazookas. Okay, and maybe a little bit bigger than ground bazookas. I'm pretty sure you can still smell the fresh powder. If there's powder involved, that is. <laughs> still, anything fired would have a scent about it. So just gonna fast forward? Nope. God, I just jumped and tumbled. Side of them. Did they touch down near the stone circle? Uh, there's no escape for them now. You got to now, my pretty. Just, <laughs> you, you know, just. Yeah. She knows about us? How? 
know. Just who are you? And what's that thing beside you? It's a thing. So, who are you? Were you involved with the attacks on the Watchtower <laughs> in the Republican Army space? We'd rather not accuse you of a crime you didn't commit. But can you at least tell us who you are and what you're doing here? Aww, how did I end up being the bad guy? This is gonna make things a bit sticky. Oh, oh, I know what I can do! Everything will go hunky-dory if you guys help me out. What? What are you talking about? But first, I hope you won't mind if I give you a little test, just to be sure you're up to the challenge. Is that a challenge? Yes. We got here by, uh, uh, our daily poop mail? Yeah, there we go. Wait, always brings a bunch of jokes. <laughs> hey, Millia! Millia Morion! When her name popped up, I was looking at the chat part. So my brain saw a Millennium Onion. And this is Eric Getlin, but you can just call him Lanny for short. Okay, let's get started! I just knew. <laughs> let's get started! My turn. Okay, so they're both. It's my turn. Hmm. Arcus, activate. Get him! That tickled. We need to knock no. the ever loving hell out of that thing. No. Yes. Alright, let's do this! Be very well. It's my turn. Alright. No. Get the hell back up, brother. No. Now is our chance. Don't let it pass. Run, run. Understood. Let me barrier. I, a lot of them Go made sense to me. Please. Leave it to me. Okay, I think that about covers all that. <gasps> Here we go. Okay. Um. Poked it. Very well. <laughs> All right. Wow, that's a hell of a hit. What she got right? We got three. Here, let's get a couple more AP. They're open. Oh, hello. Go. Damn it. Yeah. Hmm. 
You know, she's full power. So what we'll do is this. Me. Just because you're a little girl doesn't mean we're going to take it easy on you. You challenged us, so we're going to whoop your shit. Wow! You guys are pretty tough! Yep, looks like you'll be great for the job, alright! <laughs> We've had quite enough of your wild chases and your games. You were the one who attacked both of those military facilities, weren't you? Just tell us what you can. Anything you know that might help us find out who was actually responsible. You said you wanted our help? If helping you would restore peace to the Highlands, we're ready to help out however we can. But you have to talk to us. Help us understand what's happening. So, I'm guessing she's part of a fourth faction group that's trying to stop the third faction? Come on, you two! I hope you don't come to regret your naivete. Uh, you said your name was Milliam, right? We really don't have much time. So could you tell us what it is you want our help with? Hmm. Well, what I want you to help me with is capturing the small arms group responsible for attacking the Watchtower and the Republican Army's base. <sighs> well, what did you just say? You saw those mortars earlier, right? There's a bunch more hidden near the Republican Army's base. I'm guessing it was the same group that set them up at both locations. W wait Do you have any idea who this armed group might be? Mm, well, I'm not 100% sure or anything. But they look like a bunch of Jaeger dropouts, so I'm guessing they're working for a pretty meaty chunk of Mira. I was on my way to go find out for sure. Wait, then... You know where they are? Sure do! They're up in the north of the Highlands. If you promise to help me out, I'd be happy to show you the way! So, how about it? Alright, you have our aid. I'm Reed Schwarzer, Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. Guy Schwarzel. I'm Lisa Reinford. It's, um, nice to meet you. My name is Emma Milstein. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Yusis Alvarea. And just so you know, you still have much to answer for regarding your intrusion into Arok's fort. <laughs> you knew that was us, huh? It'd be super cool if we could just, you know, put that whole thing behind us for the time being. If we must. Now, now. <laughs> nice to meet you all, too. Anyway, what are we just hanging around here for? Let's make for the north of the highlands! Alright, but I'd like to swing by the settlement first. Yeah, you should use your telephone to report back to Zendergate about everything we found out so far. Okay, let's get going then. Oh, yeah. Are you going to be riding on the back of your... thing? Mmm, well I could... But I think I'm gonna ride on the back of your horse instead. Wait, what? Wall! It vanished! And the way it did so seems familiar somehow. Uh, Teach? Hello? Come on, are we going or not? Let's go catch us some big bad wannabe Jaegers! <laughs> you got spirit! Okay. Uh. 
she was standing in front of that thing, it looked like she had giant feet there. <laughs> yeah. And that would fit her first. It would. <laughs> hmm. She's got ages. So, she's... Pinky? Yeah, oh god, look, her defense is... She's super tanky! And strong! She's also two levels higher. Okay, so... He's her weapon. Got it. You got absolute ass gear. Okay, whatever. Hold on, no. No, that's the current gear. For some reason, I was thinking it was the other stuff. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah, I'll just keep my team. Yeah. Okay. Guessing it's somewhere there. Yeah, it's did it. Woohoo! Yeah. This is amazing! If you keep swarming around back there, you're gonna fall off. <laughs> No, I didn't. <laughs> okay. Now we sure I can go do that now. Are we sure?
Okay, so that's where to go. There's my critter. Yeah. Cool, if we keep up this pace, we might make it in time Not after much. all. We will make it in time. Yeah, it's a Hulk smash. The golem. More elemental. This might actually be a challenge. Good. Here we go. No. All right, let's do this. Understood. Right, understood. This is gonna tickle. Like I said. My turn. Ugh. No, dang it! I keep going the wrong way. No. Yes. Now is our chance. Don't let it pass. Leave, right. Leave it to me. Okay. Why do I keep going the wrong way? Analyzing the enemy's vitals. All complete. Hmm. Here's some grand press. Okay, never mind. You just got the little buffer thing. Right. Oh, Moon, shield us from harm. Crescent Shell. Leave it to me. He's good to do it, so what we're gonna do is this, and then rings to the yeah. It's my turn. Okay. Pretty much time to go hardcore. I think it really matters. We got 6k left. Ha! This one tickled. What? <laughs> yep, like what I said. Do 
Hey, there we go. Arcus, activate. Now. Thanks. <laughs> I suppose I should thank you. Here we go. Damn. <laughs> My turn. Leave it to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep going. Nicely done. Of course it is. Talking about me here. Defeated the Twister Monster. So when does that one start walking? It's a question. Okay. Hey Pops! I killed the... We got a lot of bruises, just to say. Ooh, hooray. Alright, I need rest. Is this our place? Nice doctor's house. This is our place. Yeah. Can we rest? Yes. Because we a little banged up after that fight. Just a touch. Alright. Hurt. Like Skyrim and climb the mountain the horse. We're there. Steady. Yeah. Didn't turn fast enough. Meet me.
bancos. Eu vou ter como. Was like, hold on. It's not a pointy end. It was a flat end. It's that head, flat head. The ancient quarry is this way, right? Yep, just round the back of the statue. Steady. What? Yeah. Yay! Ruins! I'm guessing the back half of the golem, too. Wait, I saw shiny. So this is the ancient quarry. Crazy to think it dates all the way back to the Neolithic era over a thousand years ago. And that an evil djinn is sealed away here. Well, that's what the legends say, but no one really knows for sure. Uh, and you're sure that armed group you mentioned is hiding in here? It seems likely. Yep, I think they're probably lying low deep down in the quarry. I mean, I know they're here. I saw a bunch of them stream in from the entrance up there about an hour ago. But how'd they get up there in the first place? You think they used a rope ladder like the one we found near the mortars? It's difficult to tell from this far away. Anyway, we'll need to go in from this entrance down here. Me and Lammy could fly up there no problem, but that doesn't help the rest of you out much. Well, you have a point, but... I'm not sure entering here is going to prove much easier for us. What do you propose we do about this huge stone door? It doesn't look like it's going to budge. Come on, get off your horses. Me and Lammy will take care of this door, no sweat. Oh? We ought to dismount anyway. Well, I... What? Why did you... No. No. She's our healer. Thank you very much. Alright, um... <gasps> what? Amazing. Mini Hulk smash? Continue this inquiry at a later time. It's a floating ponytail thing with a large phallus. Yeah, see? Shiny. I see him. Yeah. Uh, loving it. Ooh. This is giving me vibe for a couple different games. <laughs> right? <laughs> Good one. Okay, that's kind of cool.
go ahead and get some. Uh, it's my turn. Perfect. Vanish. Here I go. What was vanish? I I I what? Please tell me. Oh, good. <laughs> Into a hammer and strikes foes. This seems like somebody else's character that sits across from me right now. Whoa. Okay. I never hit that button before. Alright. Buster arm. Yeah, Buster arm. Get him! No more chance! Go. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. To knock them out kind of thing. Uh yeah. Gleaming blades. Go! This is it! <laughs> Alright. Alright, damn it. Who put the lasers in the floppy golems? about to get a big heal. Um. Hmm. I don't want to... Because I forgot to scan. Analyzing the enemy's vitals. Give dude another chance to boost some too. Diggle him. Hmm. Ooh, there are you material. It's my turn. Turn. Yes, One. Sir. Now smash it. No more Go. Of course, it's right. currently at the. Um, I'm not gonna take damage. Smash. Time is precious. We should hurry. Battle lasted longer than it should have, but higher elements. Oh, right. Vanish. Inflict the vanish status. Okay. That CP up, that's pretty awesome. Status that. Ooh. Gotta watch that death blow shit. Ooh, CP loss. Ow. But nice. <laughs> Uh, seriously? Go. Ha, ha. No 
shiny. What? Is it thorny wormy? Take out three, huh? Get him! Here we no. go! Damn. Might make some those in D and D, man. Bet you gives really good kisses. So wow, look at that. Which one is the white? Space time and something. It's my turn. Yeah. What are we looking at? Okay. Crunch. Makes me really happy I did that extra grinding yesterday. Oh wow, they're still getting that much experience here though. So if I wouldn't have did a little grinding, this that would have hurt a lot more. What are those glowing things anyway? I'm actually rather curious myself. Cave scrotums. I mean avocados. Flippity flop, flippity flop. Come on. You know you want some. Flip flop, flip flop. There! Yeah. Let's get so, I believe there's certain me. mob types, apparently, they always know you're there. See how you are. That thing off quick. Yeah. Analyzing the enemy's vitals. All complete. Piercing's the way to go with that thing. No wonder he did such high damage. Naughty poison thing. Oh, her standard attack area too. Hell oh, yeah. My turn. For some reason I knew it had that attack. It's my turn. That was easy. <laughs> Thanks to you at least. That's the right way. So that must be the way to the loots. Because we need the loot scoop and boogie. Come on. Chase, chase, and cease, and then turn around. There! Let's go, lady! Nope, it don't work. It's my turn. Hmm. There! Open. This is it. Yes, I there. love finishing blood. Does that thing even work? Magic. Oh! Now's a chance. Let's get him. 
So she just outright does it. Yeah. I wonder, can I? Nope. Go. No. Yes. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. Oh, speaking of. Where are you? Grand Press Superstar thing. Ooh, did somebody have a Grand Press? I don't think we did. That's more him. Uh. Oh. Fine. I don't want to equip her anyway. Shiny. Oh, we're back outside. Ah, it's nice to be back in the great outdoors again. Yep, 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 yep. Hold on, did I? My brain just popped that. Yeah. Huh. There seems to be a treasure chest here. Really? Spirit Breaker. Anything else? We have the special Tira. Oh, that's why his hit points went down. I'd forgotten about that. Let's give him that. Poison's okay, but me. Okay. gonna suck. Oh, they heal the damage they do. Well, I mean, Vampiric Thorns. This is gonna suck. Oh, Very well. Be gone. God, she finally got something that was useful. Oh, that's a... Oh, good, and it moves. Oh, thank you, Sober. It's like the only one that I've heard this. I shall fulfill my duty as a noble. That's great. Nice. What's your duty as a noble? I, I forgot. It's my turn. There. Now. I'll help. My turn. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's my turn. Now. This is it. <laughs> that was easy. Die, stupid urn. Here they come. Damn, Be careful, everyone. My turn. You misjudged it. Yes, let's keep going. Speaking of, um, is she, she she has information. It's okay, but all right. She already hit, she does have solar thorn. Okay, so that one's a stronger one. Okay. Hmm. No, should be all right. That one's huge. Who do you think they could be? I don't know. We better exercise a little caution. Uh, spoder eggs. Can y'all stop talking already? Fish. Took me forever to do that. <laughs> that would be nice. Okay. Thanks for the advice. Well, I think I only have one person that has. Well, maybe two people can fire stuff off. be the special launch things I'll have to mess with. Okay. Really? Modify here? All people? Okay. I'm guessing what happens is our fighting brings in uh, whatever's laying all these eggs.
will never happen! Where you come from? A uh, mama. Where you come from? Who are these kids? Thor's military academy, class 7. And you're under arrest on suspicion of an unprovoked attack on both the Imperial Watchtower and Republican Army base. How fitting, delegating your dirty work to these swine. But your contemptible scheme ends here. What was that? Swine! You kids are dead meat! So it'd probably be good if I'd use Reen to impassion to get hmm. CP on people. But ah, then I'd have a chance for that yes. zero CP thing. You're the students Oops. responsible for interfering with our work in Celtic, aren't you? Wait, then? Th then the one who hired those bandits. <laughs> yes, it was I. Did you think the Provincial Army capable of competent planning and subterfuge? No. You may call me Gideon, though in some circles I'm known simply as G. Sup, G? That is perhaps as much as you may ever know. Some circles? <laughs> trust that your bellicose ideals are not simply the ravings of a lone madman, then. Your name doesn't matter to me. If you intend to shatter the peace of this land, we'll stop you by any means necessary. Uh-huh, you're all coming <laughs> so with us. Awesomes. <laughs> not wrong. Ooh, so you they really have guns. Think you could take us, huh? I don't know what the weird kid's doing with them. Bottom line, there just needs to be no witnesses. Ain't that right? Correct. It pains me to pull still budding flowers up by the roots, but they leave us little choice. So he's a pedo. Damn it. I'm afraid you already know far too much. That gun type looks crazily familiar. I've seen that type in another game. The soil of this ancient land will be watered with your blood before the day is done. Looks like they're serious. Then we'll have to respond in kind. Yes, let's. All right, let's give them a class seven thrashing. But remember, we need them disarmed and alive. Says who? I do apologize, but I'm afraid I can't let you live. Here we go. Okay, she's the one that needs it. Leave it to me. We got heavy a that on a couple other people, so. I guess I did. <laughs> Your people skills are improving. All complete. I'm guessing his will be relatively similar, all balanced on the unbalanced bit. Oh, tickle time. Seems like <laughs> tough. <laughs> Bro, you suck. <laughs> yes, sir. One attack. Marcus, activate. Leave it to me. You suck. That's for you. <laughs> Thank you very much. 
Hearts. Okay. Go ham. These guys are rough. Won't give up. Take this. Leave it to me. Screw this, man. That's for you. Thanks. Let's make this shit instant. Okay. Now. <laughs> Thanks. My turn. People divide it up. No more that group shit. All right. Whirlwind. To me. Okay. Um. Uh. You know what? I'm just going to use her to heal herself. My turn. That dude's accuracy, accuracy is terrible. Guys, actually, kind of a wuss. They're only students. Keep calm. Leave it to me. They're only students, but dude, you're in. It's an absolute ass. Here we go. My turn. It's my turn. Focus. Go. My turn. There. Huh? It's my turn. Mm. Uh -huh. Leave it to me. Oh, he actually did. Oh. Okay. Oh, did they 
beat me? Oh, man. Arcus, activate. Oh, I'm in trouble. Get him! That's our chance! <laughs> now! <laughs> Thanks! My turn! This is gonna suck, huh. right? Oh, not bad. Okay, we're still up. Yes, sir. There. Fucking god! I can do this. Man. Now. Resilient guys, of course. They're humans like us again. Huh? Oh, really? My turn. No. There. Did I just? I seriously did, didn't I? Yes, sir. Oh well, I can defeat it with him. Get him. All right. Actually, let's move specifically here. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. She don't have. Uh... She's not the healer. It's the other guy. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Activate. Leave it to me. Go wide open. Wow. Go. to me. Uh, <laughs> getting ready for the next fight. Take this. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's my turn. Mm. I need green. Damn. No, next turn. to me. Here I go! 
Nope. It's my turn. No. Go. <sighs> yeah. All right. Thank you. Arcus, activate. Now. Nicely done. <laughs> a matter of course. No way! How could a group of vets lose to a gang of kids still in the throes of puberty? <laughs> oh, I think I know who you are now. There's a mercenary group called Bugbear made of wannabe Jaeger dropouts. That's you guys, right? I guess you were planning to start calling yourselves a real Jaeger core after you pulled off this big job, huh? How do you know about us? Forget the students. What's up with this kid? D that monster of hers is gonna kill us. Hey, don't you be calling Lammy a monster! Such meanies, aren't they, Lammy? They're not the only ones who've got some questions about her. I might have an idea, but... Let's see how this plays out. <laughs> I see now. You're one of the children, aren't you? The silver puppeteer, also known as the white rabbit. Am I mistaken? Oh, wow! You've heard of me? I certainly have. And if you're here, this is a chance I simply cannot miss. I'd be pleased to punch your ticket along with everyone else's for a one-way journey to the great beyond. Uh, he's doing something naughty. A flute? What is that song? Above us, watch out! I would have noticed that, sh noticed that shit the moment I walked in there, man. Wait! Wait! Step on it! of the gin from the legends whatever it is it seems like it's made this quarry its lair <laughs> quite a hardy specimen we have here to have survived from the times of antiquity is no small feat no doubt its long slumber has left it with a powerful hunger farewell then may your struggle be mercifully brief Get back here, you wuss. Did he seriously run away? A grappling hook? Help us, please! I don't want to die. Help! Damn, there's no time to chase after him. We have more immediate problems. He's got a tick butt. Right, and we can't just leave these soldiers to the mercy of this beast. Yes, we can. I mean, no, we should save them. Group A, prepare to engage. We need to stop that spider before it can harm anyone else. Very right. good. Watch out, this is a tough one. It's my turn. <laughs> there. Are you kidding me? No. Yes. All right, let's do this. Got Give it, it to me. me. It's my turn. Nope. 
Analyzing the enemy's vitals. All complete. Crescent mirror. Okay. Fire, the white thingy, and the good thing. Yes, sir! Alright, girl. You're gonna do this. No, 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 no. First you're gonna beat on it. Then you're gonna really beat on it. Oh hell yes! Take all the spawn out in one blow. <laughs> of course it does. Why wouldn't it? strike the police ready. Man, these things are actually pretty fast. It's my turn. Arcus, activate. Yes. A. I'm sorry, everyone. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Screw you. Seriously? I'm sorry, everyone. Oh, come on, man. Here we go. What? Full break. <laughs> Thank you very much. You, sir. It's my You're going to strike this damn thing as hard as you bloody well can. <laughs> oh, what the son of a... Yes, that, that's my fault. Alright. 
It's my turn. No. Yes. Okay. She ain't got really nothing that she could do other than heal. Arcus, activate. Here I go. My turn. turn. Finish it with a punch to the butt. Started. First good boss fight, man. I mean, some of the others were fun, but heck yeah. What about the other three? Okay. Yay, another black save.
affiliation. <laughs> um, excuse me. Riding off into the sunset. Voiced, right? Voiced, yes, yes, yes. Probably not. Have looking at the stars? <laughs> I knew it. Uh oh. Precisely on time. Comrade G, you've done well. It's Vader. Comrade C, I wasn't expecting you to come all this way. 
A leader has to make sure all of the gears are moving as they should. It sounds like the plan was a resounding success. Keep your pity to yourself. Our aim was to stir up a conflict with the Republic that would force him to let his guard down. To that end, this wretched state of affairs could hardly be called a success. And yet, even this outcome will work to our advantage in the days ahead. After all, we demonstrated that he faces the risk of his ranks being divided without warning at any time. And neither the Icy Maiden nor Scarecrow can hope to outwit us. You have a point? We should begin making preparations for the next step of our plan. The time has finally come to present ourselves on the world stage. <laughs> That's the spirit. Ooh, boy. At least all's well that ends well, right? Everyone in Group A is safe, and we narrowly avoided war with Calvert. Though I can't say I was expecting the Intelligence Division to show up when they did. A jet black airship. Probably one of Reinford's latest models. The military uses them for reconnaissance. The nobles and the rich just use them for fun. But as for how they got one... You wouldn't happen to know anything, would you? <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling somebody else was there. You really are a sharp one, Lady Sarah. It's almost troubling. I'm impressed that you can tell I was there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you let me have that one. I felt a familiar sensation, though, just for a second. Makes me think back to... This one time, two years ago. Two years ago, you say? Never mind. But you really don't know, then, where that airship came from? I'm afraid not. I checked the Ryford Group's manufacturing records and couldn't find a trace. At least, not in the official files. <laughs> Sounds like Ryford has its own issues to deal with. Well, let's put that aside for now. I'm on my way to the settlement. What are you planning to do? Hmm... Well, I would like to give my regards to Master Gwen, so I would like to accompany you, if that's alright. I can hardly wait to see the look on Lady Elisa's face when I show up! Sometimes I actually feel bad for that girl. <laughs> I've been like long enough. So I gotta be right back. Gotta use rest.
Ooh, much better. Lighter was going to explode. <laughs> this one was a hell of a trip, man.
Place almost seems like you could fly away. Or that a vampire should live in it. Reminds me of Cam Camilla's place on uh, the second Vampire Hunter D movie. Negotiations with the Republican government are complete. The possibility of an armed conflict in the Nord Highlands has been successfully averted. However, they did demand that we hand over the mercenaries responsible for the attack as part of their terms. I suppose that's acceptable. After all, it was a shortcoming on our side that allowed that incident to occur. We should consider this a chance to place Rocksmith in our debt, especially with the trade conference on the horizon. Yes, sir. Though, it's regrettable that we were unable to catch the Mastermind. There's not a doubt in my mind that he's one of the ringleaders. <laughs> Indeed. It seems we'll need to exercise greater caution from now on, if this is what they're capable of. Our next concern is the upcoming Summer Festival. Any thoughts as to the optimal placement of the Ironbloods? I believe their primary target will be next month's trade conference. I propose posting Lecter to the east and Million to the west. That leaves me here to take care of the capital. <laughs> it's almost like you read my mind. Very well then. I'll leave the preparations to you. Yes, sir. <laughs> With all respect, don't be afraid of working me hard, sir. I could run these kinds of logistics in my sleep. Ha! I am all too aware of how indebted I am to your abilities. That's why I'm leaving the summer festival in your capable hands. Perhaps you may even consider using them as a test. I... Please excuse my intrusion, Your Excellency. His Excellency the Governor has arrived and wishes to speak with you. Ah, show him in. As you wish, sir. Coming in. I need to adjust the shadow on the front of everybody. I'll my intrusion. It keeps making it look like they've wet themselves. No, it's quite all right. I just finished giving my report. It's wonderful to see you again, Governor. Likewise. I think it's been, what, two months since we last spoke? I'm in your debt for helping out with the security arrangements at last month's commemoration event at City Hall. I've been looking forward to thanking you in person. Glad to have been of service. I'll be sure to pass on your thanks to everyone else involved. Anyway... If you'll excuse me. Good work as always, Captain. It never ceases to amaze me that a woman like that heads up the Iron Bloods. Your icy maiden has the provincial armies positively scared stiff. <laughs> Competent as she is, she's not the group's primary member. But she and the rest of the Ironbloods continue to do some fine work. Especially against those cunning vipers amongst the ranks of the nobility and the four great houses in particular. Agreed. But we'll need to stay vigilant. <laughs> I'm pleased that you agree. Imperial Governor Carl Reynolds. The feeling's mutual. Chancellor Gideon Oswald. Hmm. Of course, and that's exactly why I intend to go with him. Next month's conference may be the West Samoria Trade Conference in name, but it's far more than that. It's the region's first international conference in modern times. So the discussions won't be limited to economic matters. Regional security and other timely issues are sure to come up. I see. So that's why all the region's heads of state will be in attendance? 
Precisely. President Rocksmith will represent the Republic of Calvert, of course. Prince Albert will be representing the Principality of Ermaferia as its head of state. Crown Princess Claudia will be coming to represent Liberal in place of the Queen. And representing Crossbell State, we have Mayor Croix and Speaker McDowell. All of them are either heads of state or their acting representatives. Meanwhile, Erebonia is sending Chancellor Osborne as a representative of the Imperial Government. But Father is the head of state, isn't he? Indeed. And that's why I'm planning to go as well, even though I'm far from the ideal candidate. The Imperial family needs to be represented to make sure all sides are on equal terms. You shouldn't be so harsh on yourself. But I think I understand the situation. I feel so ashamed. I shouldn't have to rely on you to educate me about simple politics like this. Hmm? Recently, I feel as though all my inadequacies have been staring me in the face. I wish every day I had the intelligence and quick-wittedness you possess. And I wonder, am I truly capable of inheriting the throne from Father? <laughs> you know, Her Highness Princess Claudia of Liberal once said exactly the same thing. She did? As the successor to the throne of Liberal, I've heard that she agonized over whether she was fit to become queen. But eventually, she came to terms with her own inexperience and vowed that she would strive each day to overcome it. And I have no reason to believe that my talented brother cannot do the same. Oliver, thank you. Your support means a lot to me. That said, I do think you should spend more of your time living life the way you want to. I don't think anyone would blame you for wanting to indulge your interests once in a while. <laughs> I am how I am, I'm afraid. To be honest, I'm a little jealous of how being so open and carefree comes so naturally to you. <laughs> well, I think it'd be less concerning for all involved if you avoided taking after me too much. Another thing. I sometimes find myself admiring Chancellor Osborne's strong-willed nature as well. Oh. He was quite forceful in introducing the Imperial Transportation Act last year, despite the opposition's objections. But ever since then, I've heard the number of orbital car accidents has fallen dramatically. I can see why Father trusts him so much. Well, I wouldn't disagree that was a fine piece of policymaking. The campaign he launched with the help of City Hall was exceptionally well executed. But, on the other hand... Honestly, don't you think it's a little early in the day to be having a steppy political discussion? I had a feeling it was her. Alfin? Oh, have your lessons already finished for the day? Indeed! They gave us the afternoon off to prepare for the summer festival! But come on, Cedric. You need to stop taking everything so seriously. We're 15! It's far too early for us to be worrying about politics. Actually, I'm not sure 15 is too early, to be honest. What you should be concerned about is being more of a man at official parties. Blushing head to toe just from a lady asking you to dance? Shameful. Totally shameful. Oh, come on. Why do you have to bring that up again? <laughs> you know, that did wonders for his popularity. The ladies at that party were swooning left and right. He was playing their maternal instincts like a hug. Well, I can't deny that. Even some of the men there were fawning over him, saying Cedric was more of a useful flower than me. Surely you're kidding, right? <laughs> that reminds me, Alfin. Have you decided on your dance partner for the upcoming garden party? Yeah. You've always avoided dancing at official functions. <laughs> Curious, are we? Well, I do have someone in mind this time. Although whether I can get him to say yes... R really My, my! It sounds like you aren't just blowing smoke. The Imperial Chronicle is going to have a field day when they find out. Y you really going to dance with someone? C could it be a son from one of the four great houses? <laughs> for me to know, and you to discover. He is a noble, though. I'll give you that much. Oh, that reminds me.
reminds me. Prince Oliver? I have a proposal I'd like to discuss with you. I should open that letter from Reen that came in this morning. <sighs> I'm almost afraid to think how Her Highness would have reacted if she found this. Dear Miss Schwarzer. <laughs> really, Reen? Still Miss Schwarzer? Your own sister. What? <laughs> Reen! Why? <laughs> I wonder what that's about. I love a bit of time at past. Mid July. <laughs> Summer had come to Trista, and that meant it was time for our students to dust off our short sleeved shirts. of experience under our belts, we finally found ourselves adjusting to the rigors of our coursework. And it was during those early days of summer, before the heat became well and truly withering, that we saw the start of a uniquely seasonal new lesson. All right, that should be enough of a warm-up. I'm supposed to remind you that swimming classes here are meant to teach you skills relevant to military service. You know, how not to drown if you wind up in the water, how to save others from drowning, CPR, that kind of stuff. In fact, CPR is a pretty vital skill on any battlefield. Reen, Elisa, <laughs> would you care to give us a demonstration? No. Oh, instructor! In front of everyone? Come on, guys, just kidding around. Point is, it's still important that you learn how to do it and that you won't hesitate to use it if the need arises. Whether that means locking lips with someone of the same sex or the opposite? Uh... Of course. Well, it is a skill we can use to save someone's life. After we've covered that, I'll be timing how long it takes each of you to swim the length of the pool. Will you give me a hand, Laura? As you wish. Of course. Didn't expect to get mooned. You're up, Gaius. Ready and go! You're next, Emma. Ready, go! Wow, look at Gaius go! Yeah, I already used to swim in that lake in the highlands every summer, so I kind of expected that. Emma's a lot faster than I thought she'd be, too. Though it's not much her swimming ability that I envy. <laughs> what do you... Oh. Oh. I get it. You don't need to get it. Anyway, what are you doing just staring at girls in swimsuits? I'm not staring. My eyes are just pointed in that general direction. Well, any guy would have a hard time taking his eyes off of our class's girls. I'm not even sure who to gawk at first. 
I mean, even the other guys are handsome. You're pretty toned yourself, Rain. You think? Well, it does look like you put a lot into your exercise and training. As for you, Elliot, I think you're better just the way you are. Aw, oh, really? I don't think I want to imagine Elliot all buff and ripped. Hmm? Hey, what's that on the left side of your chest, Green? Some kind of scar? Hmm? Oh, you're right. It's so faint that I hadn't noticed it before. Oh, that. It's... some kind of mark. It's been there as long as I can remember. Don't know how I got it, though. Wow! Actually, when I look at it more closely, it looks more like a bunch of little scars all knit together. It makes you look really manly and tough. I kind of wish I had one now. <laughs> Seriously? It really wouldn't suit you. Trust me. <sighs> I can't believe we finished with the exact same time. We must be destined to strive against each other forever. <sighs> What are you talking about? The only one I was competing against was myself. And even then, I barely put much effort into it. Well, it's not like I was giving my best either. <laughs> These two. <sighs> that was refreshing. I wouldn't mind swimming a little longer, actually. Okay, Laura, are you ready? I'll climb your lap. Though I doubt I really need to, considering you're in the swimming club. No, please do. So Laura's next. You can tell she's a member of the swimming club. Just look at the way she stands on the block. We're gonna get mooned again. Ready? Yep. And go! Whoa! She's fast. Uh, how is she doing? Impressive. Whew. Well done. Let's see. 20.02 seconds. Not bad at all. All right. I think it's time for me to dive into the mix. Everyone, pick a partner. It's time for a little head-to-head -head competition. Oh, no. Well, that came out of nowhere. Am I going to have to hit buttons? Uh-oh. Races. <laughs> it appears we've been given a chance to settle this once and for all. I'm ready when you are. I think we'd be a good match, Emma. How about it? <laughs> True, our times were pretty close. Hmm. How about it, Laura? Want to partner up with me? Not today, I'm afraid. I wish to challenge B this time. Me? Laura? But your times weren't even close. Well, all right, let's go with that. I guess that leaves me with... Reen. Just feed one of the Iron Bloods. Hmm? Wait, why me? as part of a diet plan. Okay, let's see what you got. Y yeah. There's no way I'm going to win this, is there? <laughs> Go easy on me, guys. <laughs> Same to you. Ready? Go! I freaking knew it. When the two circles overlap. You know, all right. Might have got first if I hadn't missed the first one. Give it a shot. Ready? Go!
Damn it. Does she just keep up or what? I still can't believe I missed the first one again. I'm going to do it one more time. I'm stubborn. Ready? Go! I did it. <sighs> I, I actually won. <laughs> After a few practice rounds. <laughs> Nicely done, Rain. it all you've got this time huh L laura what if i already did i don't think so i could tell just by watching you don't make light of me your earlier time was certainly not the best you're capable of <laughs> well it's not very polite to your opponent to hold back <sighs> this isn't like the battlefields you grew up fighting on it's a place you can grow and better yourself by challenging others. Deep down, I know you realize that. <sighs> mm. Good. Then let us begin. You go hop in the water and just be on the other side, right? <laughs> Yay, we get to be mooned again. Mm. Looking at them like this, it's obvious how different their builds are. If build were all that mattered, we would have turned in faster times than either of them. I imagine the difference lies in their control of their bodies. Yeah, this'll be one to watch. Ready? Go! What? It's incredible! It's the bunny ears. It affects them differently. Whoa! Which of them was first? It was too close to call. No, there was a tiny difference. Laura came out ahead on this one. Having longer arms might have been the deciding factor, even. Oh, I wish I could have joined in. <laughs> well done. <sighs> the same to you. You can do this when you want to, and yet, you consistently hold back. Why? <laughs> no reason, really? Too much effort, I guess. It seems we truly cannot find a middle ground.
<laughs> Sniffing roses in the garden of delusions. That's nice. Yeah, let me roam now. <laughs> yeah, the V Lin touch, yeah. There's I want to get uh, first floor is
I just wanted to make sure he was okay. Hey, I remembered it. He's super sus.
Alright, look at the This tablet. Hmm. Just in case. Hey, I actually bought items. There, I have an active. Ooh, tomato gratin. Cook them to teach me how to make that, right? I do like the fact that there is a double talk thing. Where can you chitty chit chat everybody else? I don't have anything special going on, so I don't know. I really need to be worried about that. Oh my god, he's actually there. Okay, yeah. I don't think I need anything else there. So, huh. Res here? I don't remember. Yeah, no, this is Res place, right? Yeah, so long. Starbuck. So, library? something new to read. Okay, so she was in the student union. What did I miss? Right there at the end. Chitty chit chat there. So let's go to the engineering building next.
There we go. Phobia, that's new. Alright. Got all that. Got all those. Oh, wait. Love for it. Need one of those. Okay, Phantom Phobia it is. That's great. I don't know if I'd want to mess with any of those, really. And I got that one by finding it. I don't know why I walked out. Alright, uh... Maybe we can actually go into the gymnasium for a change. We just beat the hell out of that dude and call it good? I mean, never. Girls locker room. Er, try. Didn't try hard or anything. But. Okay, old school house. And boom. It's like it. So. Yep, let's go. I think we're going to wrap things up pretty quick here soon. I guess there are cicadas around Trista, too. When I hear them, I always feel like that's when summer's really arrived. Retiring for the day, Schwarzer? It's the Super Thief! Neidhart! Yes. Are you heading out too? Indeed. I have some business to take care of with my division, so I'll be returning there tomorrow. With that on the agenda, I thought it wise to finish the day's work early. Your division? Oh, yeah. You were sent here by the Imperial Army, right? Correct, but because of that, it's difficult to keep a regular schedule here. Anyway, while I'm here, I want to acknowledge the work you did during your field study last month. You mean that incident in Nord? The same. Reading the Army's report, it seemed that armed conflict with the Republican Army was a real possibility. While the Intelligence Division no doubt had a hand in resolving the conflict, you, and the other members of your group, played an integral part in averting a war. You deserve credit for that. Um, thanks. You haven't been able to find out anything more about that man with the glasses, have you? 
The one who hired the mercenaries and introduced himself as Gideon? Regrettably not. The intelligence division is looking into his identity, but they don't appear to have found anything yet. Personally, I wouldn't be at all surprised if they had discovered something already, but chose not to share it with us. I see. Schwarzer, I'll be the first to admit you performed admirably out there. But I assume you're aware that luck played a large part in your success? Yeah, it was pure skill. <laughs> well, I... Reading your report, the number of arbitrary decisions stood out to me. For an army to function, its members need to work together as a group, united under the will of its commander. As an organization, it can't perform at its best if its members disregard authority and act on instinct. You've already been over this in class, I believe? Yes, Instructor. I realize now that our actions in Nord were rash, but they made things harder for the Lieutenant General. If it wasn't for our inexperience, we might have been able to capture the man with the glasses, too. If you understand that, I have nothing further to say on the matter. It's not my intent to belittle your efforts. Your report indicates that you were forced to make a number of split-second decisions. I'm not suggesting that there's no place for flexibility and independent thought in an organization like the Army. But it's vital for you to understand the reasoning behind and importance of that structure and to respect it. Yes, Instructor. <sighs> Teaching cadets to respect and work within that system should be the job of their class's instructor. Though, considering her background, I was foolish to expect that of her. Her? You're talking about Instructor Sarah? Indeed. Granted, she's quite skilled, but she lacks the disposition and diligence of a soldier. I understand she didn't come from an army background, but with her position, one would hope she would pick up on the basics. Oh, so... Do you know what Instructor Sarah did before she became an instructor here? Oh? Is she keeping mum about that? I just assumed you were already aware. Before she came to Thor's, Sarah was... Uh-uh-uh! It's not very becoming of a gentleman to go around broadcasting a lady's secrets, you know. She was a pole dancer. Got it. Instructor Sarah. Maybe she was a Jaeger. Instructor Valestein. I totally understand where you're coming from. You meet a beautiful, captivating lady and you want to know more. But don't let hard-headed officer types like our friend here rub off on you too much. Got it? You always play by the rules and you'll find yourself in a jam someday when you encounter people who don't. Damn straight. I instructor? You're one to talk. I hardly think a capricious instructor who leaves everything to chance is capable of guiding our cadets to greatness. Well, of course, I couldn't do a better job than the ace of the 4th Armored Division. Or was that the Provincial Army? I mean, you've got the whole tradition and status or everything mindset down pat. Hmm. It looks like these two aren't getting along any better. First Sharon, now Instructor Nightheart. Instructor Sarah almost seems like she's spoiling for a fight. Who do we have here? Uh. Well, if it isn't Instructor Sarah and Instructor Nightheart. Uh-oh. Ah. Instructor Thomas? And young Reen is with you too. Simply marvelous. It looks like you're having a downright jolly time. Would you mind if I joined you? He needs to lay off the saucer, the bud one. Uh, I'm not sure that would be. Uh, <laughs> actually, I was just leaving. Come along, Reen. We need to hurry back to the dorms now. We do? Oh, but. While we're all together like this, what say we have a few drinks together and enjoy some quality faculty bonding time? 
I heard the two of you really know how to hold your liquor. <laughs> I'm afraid I really must. I've actually just been hit with the overwhelming urge to drink alone in my room tonight. Now, now, there's no need to be shy. We're all friends here. Oh, I know. Why don't you come along with us, Reen? We can't float a beer your way quite yet, but I'd be happy to treat you to something else. No, it's quite all right. You teachers are always so busy, I'd hate to get in the way of your quality bonding time. <laughs> so, if you'll excuse me, I'll be sure to let <laughs> you know that you're having dinner out tonight, instructor. No, Reen, we'll wait! <laughs> what kind of heartless monster are you? Get back here, Reen Schwarzer! <laughs> well, shall we be off? I... I couldn't possibly. I need to depart early tomorrow morning, so I really must insist. <laughs> yep, I done what it took off ages ago. Midsummer's Revels. Uh, we're gonna do this so I can walk around. And then I can go boop and save. Uh, yeah, system. There we go. Alright, I appreciate anybody who stopped by today. And tomorrow we will be picking back up with some Mass Effect 1. Oh, we got some hardcore story hammering to do. Excuse me, I think we're on Pharos and we have to finish that off. Uh, we'll be doing the side quest parts in Pharos first. And then uh, continuing with the Prime story there. And then I guess it'll be time to take the big step into the next chunk of the story. So there's that. On to Vermeer, right? But anyway, until next time guys, take care and see you around.